Executive of Heatherwood and Wexham Hospitals Foundation Trust. Well, the trust that runs the hospitals now asking for bids so the site can be redeveloped with a new hospital in the future. Let's speak now to Philip Lee, MP for Bracknell. Um, what do you make of, of what we've heard today, Philip? Um, well, I mean, it's an interesting interview, to say the least. It, 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 it actually ends up asking more questions than it answers. Um, what was she talking about? I, I can't quite understand um, what the plan is here. I'm on record as, 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 as being very much of the opinion that we need a new hospital um, on the M4 corridor to serve a large population in excess of 600,000 people. I'm also on record as saying that chronic care in the future, and you have to understand medicine to understand this point, chronic care is going to be offered in community hospitals closer to people, but acute and surgical care has to be offered on sites that are properly staffed and kitted up. And the problem is, um, is that I don't hear that being said by the Chief Executive of the Trust. Um, indeed, um, they didn't even have the decency to give me a heads up that this announcement was coming. I found out that this announcement was coming from the BBC. Um, I thought that I was a democratically accountable um, uh, person for the area um, to represent the best interests of people in Bracknell. That therefore, and in in addition to that, I'm a qualified doctor who's just actually completed the surgery in East Berkshire this morning. You'd think I might have been just told in advance this was coming, but no, no, I don't get that respect. So for me, I I I, I listen to this and I think, well, okay, short to medium term, it's good news. We've got a protected site at Heatherwood. But medium to long term, do I think it's the right decision? Of course I don't. Why are you against the idea of a new hospital being built on the Heatherwood site? What's the problem with that? I, I, I'm not against there being new facilities built to serve the people of Bracknell. I am against the concept that we can support a site at Heatherwood, that we can support a health space, and we can support Brantsbridge and Bracknell. I'm sorry. I mean, that, that, that's, that's just nonsense, and it's not a sustainable uh, model of health care for the future. Why is it not sustainable, we do, though? Because we, because we do not have an appropriate acute and surgical site serving East Berkshire, South Bucks, and South East Oxfordshire as we speak. We do not have a properly staffed and funded uh, stroke unit. We do not have a properly staffed and funded angio and geography suite. We do not have a primary trauma centre in the area Despite the fact that we have Crossrail uh, being built, despite the fact we have M4 motorway, which is incredibly busy, and despite the fact that we have Heathrow, I so, think we would have a primary trauma centre, but no, we don't have that. So and what needs to happen then? In this. Well, first of all, we, it would be nice if the Strategic Health Authority had a strategy. You know, we don't have that, okay? And, 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 I, and, I, and so, consequently, it's been left to me to draw up a plan which will be issued tomorrow. I'll be releasing it tomorrow for the region, not just for East Berkshire. The idea that we can have a hospital for East Berkshire that provides all the services that I've just outlined, that's for the fairies. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen because that's not how healthcare is developed. The, 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 the reality is, is that things are changing and have changed quite significantly, and places like Heatherwood are not in a position to, to deliver the care that's in the best interests of my constituents, which ultimately is what I've been elected to serve. So just to be clear, what do you actually want to see happen then? Oh, we seem to have lost him. Uh, Philip Lee, MP for Bracknell there, uh, not able to provide me with a, a list of his demands. It's 12 minutes past one o'clock.